Thanks, Doc. Okay, folks, we're off to an ad break. On the other side of it, we'll be back with the Coldstream Football Club Social Wrap. Have you ever been minding your own business at the club rooms, only for Nathan Sargent to pop up? Here at Amcal, we've developed a new product. Yep, you've guessed it, no more sudsies. Just point and spray. Voila, no more sudsies. Watch as Bruce Willis demonstrates. I'm fucking sassy. I'm the fucking man. I had 45 possessions today. I fucking slayed the puss. I'm the fucking... It can be used in the lounge room. I'm a bloody good footballer. Should be in the ones. 45 and 6 today. Bloody sexy. What the hell's that? In the toilet. Let me tell you something. I'm a fucking good footballer. I'm bloody sexy. 45 and 6 today. I'm the bloody man. It even works in the committee room. Now, last time they gave us a good old touch up. You know, I reckon we stop the Kennys, we go a long way to stop and... I'm a fucking sassy. I'm a fucking man. Who the fuck are you? When the suts drives you nuts. No more sutsies works 90% of the time, every time. This is not a real product. Endorsed by Johnny Peak Tower and Coastry. Social wrap time now, folks, and it's over to Matthew Johnson. Whoops, Matthew Johnson's still unavailable due to his commitments with Children's Group High Five. Now it's over to Jeffrey Pinhead Divisa. Jeff? Thanks, Wayne, and welcome to the social wrap. With two functions over the past few weeks, it's been a pretty busy time down at the Coldstream Football Club. Three weeks ago, we had the Coldstream Got Talent Night. The team named the once, once prospects with the eventual winners over a horrible grand final performance from the midfield group. It was just disgusting. Um, highlights of the night were young Adam Cookshank dancing in the nude. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Also, Joshy Nice singing a rendition of I Believe I Can Fly in his jocks. I'm a woman! I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night. I my wings and fly away. Um, now back to Adam Crookshank. I believe he looks a little bit like John Daly. Last weekend saw the comedy night at the footy club. It was a terrific night with plenty of laughs featuring comedians such as Don Tran. <laughs> when anorexics are murdered, do the cops draw a stick figure? <laughs> and Monty Franklin. Have you seen the people that pick up their dog's poo in the plastic bag and then they go and attach it to their dog's collar? How fucking cruel is that? The poor dog. <laughs> Walking around with a shit on its neck. <laughs> Reese was the drunkest bloke there, even though he's cut off, cut off from the bar once again from Wendy. Next function will be on the 3rd of July and will be hosted by the Green Team. It should be another great night down the club, so make sure you do your best to get down there. Now before we go from the social wrap, I want to present a tool of the week. This week's nomination goes to a bloke who can't really handle his piss. Luckily enough, we had the camera out to capture some of his antics, and really, what a disgrace. Let's take a look. Where's, where's Jules? Where's Jules? <laughs>
Do you know Pubes? And who is he? Pubes. I don't know his name, but it's Pubes. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's Pubes. I don't know his name. Jeff. Russell Green. Jeff, what are you best known for? Right, exceptional leap. What so, else? Uh, I've got a pen. <laughs> Which costume player has the best looking misses? Um. <laughs> I'd have to say Westy. Westy? Westy's miss. Who has the best nickname at Costume Footy Club? Best nickname at Costume Footy Club? Apart from Pubes. Apart from Pubes. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind as much. As, I don't mind Sutsy's nickname. Sutsy, you've been Sutsified. I've said it before. Yeah. I reckon Sutsy. It's not a bad nickname. I, I wish I was called Sutsy. All right. Can you give us your best animal impersonation? Animal impersonation. I'll give you. A, yeah, the dog man. <laughs> Who is your one true love? My one true love? I've had a bit of a, I've had, I've had a bit of four true loves. My, I had my heart broken. So my true love, I'm gone. <laughs> Who's your favourite AFL player and why? My favourite AFL... <laughs> my favourite AFL player is, what, is Jason Hentley because... He is so accurate with the kicks. He can kick 50 metres, no worries, bang. Oh, every time. <laughs> oh, Jason, he Jason Hentley. <laughs> okay. What's your best medallion club memory at the footy? I oh, remember we there with Peggy a couple of weeks ago. It was a 6 step run of chess. Yeah, next question. <laughs> <laughs> What's your best pick up line? Is your dad a terrorist? He's due to bomb, baby! <laughs> Why do you have a small head? Because when I was born, my mum had a small vagina. Why do you cut everyone's lunch? I don't cut anybody's lunch, I'll tell you what, right now. I don't cut anybody's lunch, except for... <laughs> Why don't I cut anybody's life? <laughs> what an absolute loser. What an idiot. Well, that's all for me. I'm Jeff Tavissa, and Screwy looks like Graham Johncock. Thanks, Jeff. Well done again. And, folks, that's it for tonight's show. It's been another big episode of Cougar Vision. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks. I'm Wayne and I'm tall. Catch you next time.